This is a live oak planted here at the park. It's one of the biggest in our area that I've seen. As you can see the room that it has for the roots to grow and then for the uh, canopy to grow. So these are the, the acorns from a live oak. Seeds we got, we're gonna start um, doing the float test in a bit. But, I mean, I, I really love these trees, man. I like how they look. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can grow some of my own. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and record the progress as we go along. But um, these we plucked right off the tree. Uh, you can, get them right off the ground uh but a lot of times those have bugs or they they're they have holes in them they have worms they're not good they end up floating to the top so i like plucking them right off the tree so we'll go ahead and do the flow test um just fill it up with what fill a bowl up with water um the ones that float are bad toss those out the ones that stay on the on the bottom those are good good acorns good seeds So I got no floaters here. Looks like all these acorns are good. Next step from here, what you want to do is you can either get a Ziploc bag or what I like doing is getting a, a water bottle, putting some customized oxygen air holes. And um, all you got to do is get the acorns, put them in there as many as you can stuff in there and then just let nature do its work in the refrigerator all you got to do is you know put your acorns in here put them in the refrigerator be patient it takes a while um it's gonna probably take like maybe two three months for these to start germinating so got them all in here like i said get a water bottle Ziploc bag um, on the Ziploc bag don't seal it up all the way and um, on the water bottle just you know get a knife or a razor watch your fingers and just make some holes in there and that's about it top on put them in the refrigerator and just leave them alone you know you got to be patient um, I know I'm gonna be checking like every day but but yeah, th this is going to take some time. But um, like I said, I'll keep you guys posted. And um, hopefully we could see some germination in a couple months. And I'll let, I'll let you guys know how this goes. So these are all the live oaks, acorns that we have. Um, and we got these. We collected these like around two months ago. Same tree. Uh, post up a picture later. And the way you collect these is you could get them off the uh, the tree itself when it's giving off the acorn. Um, and you could just pull them right out of the tree. Uh, you know, a lot of times you could get them from the ground. Uh, I just like getting it from the tree. A lot of times you get them from the ground and um, sometimes you get some floaters. I guess there's bugs that get in there, whatever, mess up the acorn. But um, yeah, like I said, we collect collected these like around two months ago. And um, they're ready to be planted in the ground. As you can see the taproot is curling down. And this is the direction we're going to plant it in. 
So, um, go ahead and get started. So here's another look at the uh, acorns here that we're going to put into the ground. We're not going to put into the ground. We're going to put into pots. But that's one of them. Uh, here's another. Uh, let me let me get the. Uh, did I get this one already? You can see this is the direction we're going to be planting them into the pots with this taproot face down. This one has two taproots. Don't know how this one's going to come out, but we'll see. And uh, this is just another one. So those are the acorns we have ready. This is the pot here we're gonna use. It's like around three and a half inches tall. Nothing too big. I think it's like four inch wide on top. You know, nothing too crazy. But this is what we're gonna put it in. All right, let's go ahead and start mixing this in. So for um, planting, we're gonna use this. Now this is all I got here in the in the yard. So we're gonna use this Miracle Grow Performance Organics. Um, I guess it's supposed to be mixed with the regular soil, but it's all I got. So we're gonna use this, and then we're gonna use this uh, perlite. So we're gonna do 50/50 in a pot. I'll show you guys a pot in a bit, but we're gonna put it into this bucket, mix it up. So we got in here 50% of that uh, soil that I had and then 50% of the perlite. Just mixing it good. Like I said, it's going to go in there. So we'll fill it up uh, till there, where that line is at here. Um, we're not going to compact it hard in there or nothing. We're just going to throw the dirt on there and then make a little hole for the uh, for the seed for the acorn and then just throw the extra that's left extra dirt on top. All right, so we filled up to that line where I showed you guys earlier. Um, it's not the soil is not compacted, so you know it's all left loose. So we're gonna go ahead and pick our acorn out, and uh, like I said, we're gonna put the uh, the tap root face down. There you go. So we'll kind of push it in there so it doesn't move. Tap root face down, and that's about it. And then we'll go ahead and get some of the soil. And just top it off there. And that's it guys. 